welcome to the Greatest and Steam channel. Today I will be starting a new series we call, called Recommended Reading. Um, in this series I will be looking at magazines and books and um, all sorts of reading material like that so that you um, know, know about it because um, even though in today, this day and age I still think um, books and um, reading material is um, quite an um, important part of the hobby, even though you've got the YouTube and the internet, you, know, I think it's, you can still learn an awful lot from books and magazines. So today I'm going to be starting it with a look at the magazine, Home Magazine. Now Home Magazine is a great magazine, packed with loads of how-tos, um, layouts, features, um, reviews and things like that. So, let's get started. So, here we have Hall Magazine. Um, inside we have all the normal adverts. Uh, the Hall Magazine you get lots of news telling you about stuff, not like new, um, models coming out and um mag and competitions and stuff so it's not really like that there's adverts not too much adverts there's not a whole lot of adverts in the middle it's quite evenly spaced out but it tends to be more adverts at the end as are with most magazines we have how to's here so we've got how to about um coal hoppers and the merry-go-round history so that's very interesting also i must point out in hall magazine as well it, it's not just about um um, model hours, as in some modeling magazines, it also tells you a bit about real magazine, real um, um, railway operations and stuff as well, because you can learn an awful lot from that, so that's good. Um, here we have more how to's. More how to's. And here we have a layout feature. It's all very professional layouts, what's why they're in here. And you can learn an awful lot from that, and very interesting to read and see what others have done with their layouts. Hang on. Should I just bring it one shot? That's better. Um, yep. There's also adverts here. And more stuff. And then they've also got, um, this is a layout project from one of the, um, staff who, um, work who edits, and um, I think this is, is this from the ed editor? No, this is from one of the um, editors on the team at Haunt Magazine. We've got more um, special offers and things. And we've got, also got reviews. This is, a, so this is a review section. So you've got a review on the new Hornby Engage Brighton Bell and various different things. And this is lots of different views, not all just all about trains. See, recommended reading. And there's also um, things about like scenery products and coaches as well as the locomotive. And what's quite good is here we have a bit about the new Hornby Flying Scotsman Limited Edition NRM A3. And guess what? Turn on the page. Ta-da! You can read about the real A3, which is very interesting. So you've just read about the model one, and now you can um, read about the real one. So that's great. Um, and here we have... Um, um, some more about the A3, yep, and more reviews on the Duke Gloucester. More, there's often, often something about digital stuff, so if you, you out there with the digital command control will really, um, like this, there's lots of things on DCCing locomotives. And then there's often club layouts in here as well. It's a very interesting layout here, I'll show you. Which is actually bounced around in lots of little sheds in a field somewhere. So, there's, a, there's an idea, yours. <laughs> and then we, here we have, um, these are staff projects. Well, and then we've got some more um, of Beeching's Freight Revolution. So more about real railways. So you can read read about. So um, yeah, and then again, you can find out more about real train um, 
formations for use in your layout. Sorry about that cut. Um, so here we are back again. With some, and then we have a bit about e-patterns because they're very big shops. So very big advert telling you about lots of things. And they've got some good bargains there. So to shop around. Also as well, I must say, I'd recommend you buy a proper paper magazine. Though you can buy it on your iPad or your tablet or whatever, but I'd recommend you buy a proper paper one because there's nothing like the actual feel of holding something physical. Well, that's my opinion anyway. So we've got English. And this is just adverts. So yeah, great magazine. There's also some, um, um, uh, they also come with some free, um, um, Supercunts or whatever they're called, I can't pronounce that word. So if you have one about the Hattons catalogue. So if you see any locos in there, that's great. So yeah. Oh, oh that's good. 22 quid for a Pullman coach. My Pullman coach. Oh, I heard they're going out of production by the way, so if you want one of those, head here. So I've got some good bargains. And then here. Yep, so that's, that's a bit boring. And also, as this is the uh, December's edition, you also get a nice calendar, which is nice and free. But it's quite a decent calendar, really. You get some really nice pictures. It tells you when it's called cool magazine and other rail going on sale. So that's all good. And here you have... Um, um, Yep, so these are pictures from um, um, layouts that are featured in Hall Magazine. So and here's another one. That's quite cool. That looks quite cool. And there's some steam engines. Nice Great Western steam engines, which is what we want. We like great. I like Great Western steam engines because they're the best in my opinion. But that's just me. I know that's a bit biased, but I don't really care. Um, oh, I've got one of those. Oh, they're nice. Oh yeah, if you want me to do a review on that, I've got I've got a crane just like that. Um, so I can feature that in a future video if you want to see more about that. And that that's they do recycle those some images from a couple of years ago. So I'm sure that featured in a um, calendar last year or something. So that's that's first not too bad, as long as there are some fresh ones. Oh, I like I've got one of those too actually. I've got a Pickford's one. This is August, my birthday, yep, yay. Um, and here we have, oh, this is cool. See that, have you, can you see that? Yep, there's a lovely um, Aria Flight Airfield sort of thing in the 60s with some um, cool jet aircraft. A little station so in the row. That's, that's cool actually. I'd like to see that if it's ever at an exhibition. That would be cool. I'll have to find more about that. Um, there's Octobers. Oh, it also tells you about shows that are on as well. So if you have the Home Life Integrated Electric Train show. And I think um, Twin Rally Festival is also in here, which is a, uh, well, I say local, it's quite a long way away actually, but it's in the southwest area, which is quite which is local to me, so that's good. Oh, this is a nice night shot. And so, yeah, that's Hobby Magazine. And I thoroughly recommend you read it. So, as well, something that's strange. Also, this came in, which is called Attraction Magazine by Atlantic Publishing. And um, that also came in as well. So, it comes in a little bag, plastic bag, but the, the um, bottom was broken and this just happened to be inside. Like, there's nothing to do with Hobby Magazine at all. It's like it's a completely separate magazine. It just happened to be in there. So, if any of you viewers already read Hornby Magazine and just happen to have this um, edition of Hornby Magazine, please tell me whether you found this um, in your, with um, your Hornby Magazine in December 2014 edition. That's all. Now, Hornby Magazine, it's um, available every month. So, but yeah, if you want to buy December's, you have to buy December's in November or August's in July, that sort of thing. But so it's a month in advance, and it costs. As I was saying, um, it costs three pounds ninety-five, and is available every month. So it's a tad bit expensive, but it's really thick, as you can see, and it offers really great value to the um, railway modeler. 
Oh, in, and I bet mention in Australia it costs ten. It uh, costs ten um, Australian dollars dollars ninety five. Canada it's eleven Canada dollars ninety nine, and and in the USA it's twelve USA dollars fifty. So yeah, that's all the information you need to know about that. And there's also adverts for some cool wagons on the back, so I might get some of those because they look quite cool. So yeah, it's a really cool magazine. It's a really great magazine, and they often do um, special things like this that are actually slightly more interesting. Like they did one on, they often do them on DCC and weathering and modelling different aspects. So um, goodbye for now, and see you later.